Mega Sommer Gears Porioni is a favorite among um, a lot of beetle breeders uh, on this planet. It is a very big species from Brazil. I had good luck to find some pupas uh, around one month ago and I uh, rescued them inside of this kind of pit pops. This mess as you know already. And now it's time to have a look. And it's always is very interesting and exciting to look into these peat pots to see what is in there, whether it's a, still a pupa, whether it's a pupa that has died, whether it's a, a already an adult. Um, let's see what happened here. So it's one month ago they should have it closed if they not died in inside the peat pots here they should have it closed as but it is still a pupa but it's still living that's a good sign so she needs some more time probably this was one of the younger pupas that that I had, so I just close it the same way it was. Uh, we have to wait another two weeks here, and I don't uh, take it out now. Just put it in a safe place, and then we wait. We asked Pupa. It was the uh, 11th of November, so that's now more than six weeks. Uh, so let's see what happened here. Oh yes, but here it's a emerged adult. So let's take it out very carefully and see. Whoa! Look at this nice and big and beautiful Megasomo Kios Polio. This is really a nice male that we see here. With the prominent horn on the pronotum, this one, then the other horn, the cephalic horn here, and you can Look him in the eyes here. Uh, it also has a nice size, so I would guess this is really something like nine or so centimeters. The horn is not quite uh, uh, straightforward, it's a little bit deformed, but it's not bad, it's not a little bit more than nine uh, centimeters. Not yet completely finished, you will see this because of the shimmering tone on the elytros here so it can wait for another one or two weeks here and then we will see it's still inactive now it tries to grip to the to the bark of this tree a little bit so we just put him back into his original pit pot cage and let him wait here till he comes out by himself and around two weeks and I think up to then he could be ready to um, crawl around yeah it's a pity that I have no female at the moment the only female that I had until now um, emerged already in uh, April that eight months ago so that was a bad chance uh, to have a pair for the new breeding process I have only one larva that I don't know yet whether it's a male or a female but we will have a look there's another box here that I've prepared practically the same way um, so let's have a look here too, whether we find something. So 
still a pupa, still living. That's nice, so we don't have to be afraid uh, that they died. We just put them back. But they need a long time uh, for pupation compared with uh, other megasomas. Now they are now here mostly around six weeks. In the stage of pupas, that's a pretty long time, so we will see whether we find another one here. Gios pupa. Oh, yeah, but here it already came out of the, of the peat pot. If you want to see how I prepared this peat pot, uh, artificial pupal chambers for these uh, Gios cordioni, you just go back in the playlist about Gios Corioni and you will see the other videos there too. So let's see whether we can take... Wow, this is also a nice one. Seems to be already a little bit more active than the other one. Also the colors of the Elutros and this uh, little fur is seems to be a little bit better developed than with the other animal that we've seen before. Oh, that's a very nice animal. The size is also quite nice. It's eight and a half centimeters. That's not bad for a, for a captive bred uh, animal. So, we already have two of them living and well. We found them as pupas in the substrate. We rescued them because it's dangerous if the uh, pupal chamber collapses because of worms or whatever. Uh, they will have no chance to survive. So that's the method to take them out and give them a safe place to emerge from the pupal uh, chamber. So I put this one also back, but it seems a little bit better developed. And then the other one, so uh, later I will give him a nice mango. Of course, I will make some pictures also from them for my archive to see. Um, and now I have two more here. Now this is something else. It was a, a pre pupa of Megasomo elephas. Uh, but this one, had a, this one failed to came, uh, come out the right way. It died while eclosing, or while trying to eclose from this uh, pupal skin. So it it pupated here, but it couldn't come out of the pupal uh, skin in the right way. So this can also happen. It's a pity after three years that you care for a larva that they die in the last stage. That's really something bad and. Yeah, makes sometimes it makes you sad. Also. And here what we have, Gios Porioni, another one. Um, oh no, this is the one that we uh, checked first as first, so we don't touch this anymore. But I have something else. I also had two a uh, pupa and a pre pupa of Megasomo Octeon in here. So now let's see what happened to them. The one of them was a three pupa, the other one was already pupa. We will see whether we can already see something or whether we have to wait uh, some more. Uh, this is a bit, oh, this is a, it just came up, it's not completely, it couldn't come out of the pupal skin, of the laurel skin completely. So you see that uh, the head capsule of the of the larva couldn't split open in the right way, so the the pupa couldn't come out of this uh, pupal of this pupal uh, skin. I think we. It makes not a big sense to to um, make a surgery in this animal. We just uh, hope that it 
can finish this process but chances are not very good. In this stage if they fail to come out and here it's still uh, here it's still a nice uh, pupa of a male so we wait. Let's see what happens. If we have good luck the pupa can manage to come out completely of this larval skin, but chances are, as I said, not very good because this must go in a in a rush. Otherwise, the chances that they fail um, to emerge as adults also are pretty big. So what we have, but it's uh, always a mixture of luck, good luck and bad luck. It's like probably in nature too, not. Every larva can become an adult, and the most critical stage always is pupation. That's also a reason because why pupation is the shortest phase in the life cycle of most of the of the beetles, because they want to have it um, made uh, the, as fast as possible because it's a very fragile stage. They are quite immobile, the danger of collapsing of the of the pupil chamber is very big. If it's too wet it's not good, if it's too dry it's not good. Uh, the pupa is very very fragile. Compared with the uh, adults they are not so fragile. They they have the, this armored hitting um, shell, shell around and they can um, stay for weeks and months. Uh, without food and they also can survive when it's too wet or a little bit too dry. So let's see, this is a really nice Megasomo Gios Porioni male. Let's have a nice look at him here. He's from front a little bit also. Uh, he's already active here. Nice one. So let's enjoy the ones that have it closed completely from this uh, very fragile stage of pupation. Thanks for watching.